Everybody, I don't know which video I'm going to record or upload, but I have two. This is my second time recording this video because I got kind of long and rambling. So, I have had a couple people ask about things we have to do to prepare for a foster adoption, <clears throat> which I will go far more in depth about that <laughs> in a video soon. Um, but right now I wanted to talk about baby proofing. I've had a lot of people ask me if we have to baby proof. I keep, I have a new phone, so I'm wondering where I have to look. And I think I have to look there. Yep. Have to look there. Sorry. That was kind of, I'm sure that was gross. I've been cleaning an oven. So my fingers aren't the cleanest. I washed my hands like four times and I, there's like some, anyway, whoa, I'm trying to make this video short. So I've had people ask me if I have to baby proof in terms of um, outlet covers and cabinets and stuff. And the answer, the short answer is yes. The longer, but not longest answer is I have been working in some form of childcare since I was 16. So almost 10 years now. And actually, it's been about 10 years because I was a nanny for a uh, after school for a little bit when I was 15 and a quarter to 16. So I have been working in child care for 10 years now with all sorts of ages. So I know and I've taken child development classes. So for one, I know what kids do. And for two, I know what their developmental <laughs> ages and stages allow in terms of abilities in like trying to unlock things and things like that. So I've been in child cares and I've been in homes and I just, <coughs> excuse me, I know a lot of the child proofing stuff. Um, I know a lot of the child care stuff, but in terms of child proofing, I know a lot of what's available and what kids can do and what kids will do. So, I know that I have to cover plugs. Well, plug covers suck. Any parent that has done plug covers will tell you, or anybody that has worked in daycare will tell you, plug covers suck ass. <clears throat> Especially in daycares, they'll tell you that they're a pain in the ass to get out of the plug as an adult. But as a kid, they seem to be able to just pop them right out. And for whatever reason, they are more adult proof than they are child proof, which sucks. So they make flat ones. They make ones that just bubble up a little bit. They make ones that have a little thing that you pinch and then you have to pull the thing out. They have ones that cover the whole outlet and there's a door that you have to like do a little hook thing and open the door. Um, and none of those really work. The kids can get into them, and it's ridiculous for the parents to try and get into them. So I knew I didn't want to do those if I could avoid it. So I looked for a couple days online and tried to find reviews of things. Excuse me. I try not to sneeze. Okay. I'm trying not to sneeze, and now my nose feels all weird. Okay. Um... And I couldn't really find reviews on this new plug cover because they're newer. And we decided to go with these. So what it is, is it's an actual outlet plate that you put in, you take your regular outlet plate off, you put it right in front of the plug and you screw it in. And it has a piece of plastic that you have to slide and then plug the thing in. Knowing what I know about child development, I know that kids of younger ages cannot developmentally do that and that it is really hard for them to be able to slide, hold it, put a finger in and that if they're trying to put the same finger in, it doesn't usually work. So we decided to try those out. The installation was so easy. We have something like 29 or 30 plugs in our house between the two of us and moving some furniture, we got it all installed within 45 minutes. And they are working fantastically. I can use them easily, my husband can use them easily. We had, we um, covered the plug part on the inside and then installed one 
and had a um, friend with baby come over and he messed around with it and he could not do it. So that rocks and I'm super excited about it because I hate plug covers with a passion, a huge passion if you can't tell. So then there is cabinet locks. I hate cabinet locks. They all suck. You either have the ones that you have to push down and half the time you forget that it's there because let's face it, most of us, unless we have, or until we have kids, do not use cabinet locks. So you go to pull it out and then it pops back at you or you get your, you go to get your um, door open all the way and you slam your finger in it or kids slam their fingers in it. Um, so those suck. And then they made one that has a locking mechanism like this so that if baby pulls it out, it doesn't go back in. They can't smash their fingers. Well, the problem with that is that those suck too. Um, a lot of the times it's hard to get them down enough to get the whole thing out or it doesn't, if you have bigger fingers, um, it's hard to get your finger in there enough to actually pop the whole thing open. Or you have a cabinet that's sticking out and you have to push it down to put the cabinet back in. So those suck too. I hate those. Well, they now have a locking one. So the locking mechanism it has a magnet thing on a key that's a magnet and it's magnetically done. So it has this mechanism that locks, which I can make a um, video with those specifically so I can show you the um, locks, but you cannot, when it's locked, you can't pull the cabinet out at all so baby can't get their finger stuck in the door. And then if you're not using the baby proofing, your children have grown out of it or your one child has grown out of it and your other child is not young enough or old enough to need the child proofing yet, you, there's a button on the inside, which you just push the button and then it keeps it unlocked for you. So you can keep all your baby proofing stuff on without having to actually deal with it, which rocks. So we went with that and it's a pretty easy install, a little bit of a pain on the drawers. Um, but our drawers pull all the way out so that the back of the drawer is in line with the, um, countertop or the opening of the drawer. So, um, if you don't have that, you won't have that issue, but to fix it, all you need to do is like cut a small notch out of the back of the drawer, which who cares, or, um, just not open your drawer all the way. So that's what we're doing in terms of baby proofing kitchen and bathrooms and such. And yeah, so that's it. I know this is still long, but it's shorter than the other one. So <laughs> if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will be doing an adoption options series like tomorrow, probably. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.